Good morning, everybody, or good evening, whichever it may be for you. Uh, today I'm going to make a crocheted scrubby using a scouring pad, uh, which you can get them like a six pack or whatever at Dollar General or wherever you may shop. Uh, I found these at uh, Dollar General. But anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I've already got it tied on. I just tied it on uh, using my crochet hook to loop it through and I tied off on it. And uh, what you will need is I got a small, it's a 3.5 millimeter hook and what I will do is I will single crochet all the way around uh, until I get to the end and that I should have I try and get 40 single crochets all the way around and um, that'll be the start of your scrubby so um, and then after I crochet the 40 around, I will switch off to a 5 millimeter hook. So let's get started. I will take my hook and loop it through. Just grab a few of the little plastic loops that they have around. And I will yarn over and pull through. And it can be tough. Uh, you just have to keep working with it, and that went, that went pretty good. Okay, and then I will go loop through again, and yarn over, and pull through, and yarn over, and pull through. And I'll just keep doing that. I'll loop it, my needle through the little plastic uh, like right there, I've got like three little loops of the plastic on there, and I will pull through, and then I will pull through again. Okay, I'll loop through again. I usually grab about three of the little plastic uh, loops, and then I'll yarn over, and pull through, and yarn over, and pull through again. Okay, let me do it one more time. I will grab a, like three of the little plastic loops. I'll yarn over and pull through. And then I'll yarn over and pull through again. I don't know if you can see it. But I'll yarn over. I'll do it one more time and go through the little plastic loops I mean I'm sorry I will go through the little plastic loops and then I'll yarn over and I'll pull through and yarn over and pull through both loops go through the little plastic loops yarn over and pull through both loops do it again I'll go through the little plastic loops, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through both loops. And as you can see, it's starting to look like a little chain going around. And I will do that all the way around, and I'll try and get uh, 40 around. So I'll meet back up with you when I'm done with that. Okay, everybody, as you can see, I've crocheted all the way around with single crochets. And now I'm going to uh, fasten off here and uh, join my rows, I mean my single crochets together. So I'm just going to go in the first loop and yarn over and pull through 
can yarn over and pull through all three. I mean, all, uh, two of them. Okay, now I'm going to switch my hook. And I'm going to start out doing um, half double crochets all the way around until I get back to the uh, end here. So I'm going to yarn over, go through my first loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. So, yarn over, go through my second loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. So, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. So, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over and pull through all three. So yarn over. Pull through. Yarn over. Pull through all three. Alright, I'll do it one more time. Yarn over. Pull through. Yarn over. And pull through. And I will continue all the way around and I will meet back up with you as soon as I have that done. Okay, I am back and I made it to the end and now I'm going to uh, join. Uh, I'm going to join it. So I will go into my first loop yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop and that has me joined and I will meet back up with you in just a second okay my yarn had gotten tangled and I had to uh, uh, untangle it there for a second uh, now, um, I noticed that while I was crocheting this, that I'd actually uh, used the wrong side, or what I considered the wrong side. So, what I'm going to do, and you do not have to do this unless you actually make the mistake that I did, but I'm going to flip mine and so it'll show up on this side but other than that you do not have to uh, uh, flip it at this point I'm just doing it because I would prefer this side um, you know where I can crochet it where it'll show up on this side only but you don't have to do that but I am going to so uh, there's my scanner going off. My police scanner. I listen to it sometimes. Sometimes not. Okay, so I am going to chain two. Well, let me think here just a second. Um, yeah, chain two. And I'm going to um, double crochet into the first loop. So, alright, yarn over, go into your first loop, and I'm going to double crochet uh, three times. I've got a knot again. <laughs> Not working out too good. Let me see if I can get that in. Oh, 
Let me pause a minute and I'll be right back. I'll get that knot out there. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. I had to get that knot out of there. I don't know why my yarn's knotting up. But anyway, uh, so I chained two, and I'm going to double crochet three times into the same uh, stitch. So there's one, two, okay, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Alright, now I am going to single crochet into that same uh, stitch. So, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. So see you have like a if you can see it, a little petal. So, now I'm going to uh, slip stitch into the next uh, loop. So, go through, yarn over, I mean single crochet, and then yarn over and go through the two. Now, into the le next loop, I'm going to single crochet, I mean double crochet, into the next loop. I mean next stitch. And yarn over and pull through all three. So, the next stitch, the next um, three uh, stitches will be double crochet, and that's into the same stitch. So, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull two through two more. So, yarn over, pull through two, uh, yeah, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two more, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more. All right. I'm going to double crochet into the same stitch. So, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. So, see what you're doing is you are in, you are putting a double crochet, I mean a half double crochet, three crochets, I mean, three double crochets. I'm tongue-tied today. You got a double crochet. Three half double crochets. And a double crochet. That forms your um, petal. Alright, then you will single crochet into the next stitch. So go through. Yarn over, yarn over again, and pull through all, I mean, both of them. And then again, you will repeat in the next stitch a half double crochet, three double crochets, a half double crochet. Then in the next stitch, you'll do a single crochet. Um, and then you'll just repeat a half double crochet three double crochets there's one two three And then another half double crochet. So see it's forming your petals. I hope you can see that. It's forming your petals. And just repeat that. So in the beginning you'll chain two 
do three double crochets, a half double crochet, a single crochet in the next stitch, and in the next stitch a half double crochet, three double crochets, a half double crochet, a single crochet in the next stitch, and you just keep repeating it all the way around. And I will meet back up with you when I have this done. Okay, I made it back, and I've made it to the end. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that you'll need a, um, a darning needle to um, weave in your ends. But I made it here to the end, and I'm going to um, join together by um, just going in basically anywhere there is fine you can go in and yarn over and pull through and uh, slip stitch pull through again and uh, then you just uh, cut it off and weave in your ends but there you have it I'll weave in my ends here in a little bit, but there you have it, your little scrubby. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, I'll meet back up with you in a minute once I've got it all, um, you know, weaved in. Okay, guys, there you have it. It's all weaved in and ready to either hang up in your kitchen or use it or whatever you want to do. Give it for a gift or, or you know, whatever. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, I had one more thing that I wanted to show you and I'll... Uh, then I'll end up this video. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I don't know if you all noticed that I was uh, using a plastic hook. I really love my plastic hooks. Um, but uh, there's a place called Wish.com. You can get uh, crochet hooks really cheap. But I thought you might be interested in that. But I hope you all have a great day. It's uh, snowed at my house. I don't know if you can see it. But yes, uh, uh, that's called wish.com. If you uh, would like to order you some hooks. I typically... Um, usually order things from the U.S. and this is um, they are out of uh, I think Japan or China or whatever but um, I don't normally order anything unless it's uh, made in the USA but uh, if you're interested it's just a thought Okay, I hope you have a great day. Like I said, please like, subscribe, and share, and all that good stuff. Have a great day.